Hey guys, what it do and what's up? Welcome to my channel. And if you already been here, welcome back. This is like the second video since I got back and I'm about to come with a banger. So today I'm going to answer a few questions about my business that was asked to me and give y'all a little bit of insight about my business as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So my business name is Melodic Aromas and that name basically came about through... I would say a little bit of me finding myself and whatnot. So originally my business was going to consist of only lip glosses and whatnot. And through me conversing with other people and other business owners and things like that and just finding myself, I was just like, I don't want to just limit myself to just lip gloss. So I decided to think about what else do I like? And when it comes to like the beauty and I was like, you know, I just don't want to be about beauty because, you know, beauty is more than just what meets the eye. So I was like, why not self care? And I was like, what goes along with self care? So you got body products, beauty products, you got things that build up your environment that makes you feel complete and that are beautiful that adds on to who you are. So I was like, with that, why don't I just branch out and do candles and fragrances, like aroma fragrances, like um, liquid potpourri and stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, why don't I just branch out and do that as well? So melodic aromas came about and the melodic part basically came from my musical background. And a lot of things in life can just be melodious, like whether it's a sound, a scent, you know, the way something moves, the way it vibes. So I was like, melodic. And aromas, like, if it's good, it's sweet. Like, things are cool. So aromas and sweet just came about. And then I decided melodic aromas because a lot of my th products evolve around fragrances. So melodic aromas came about. So, with that, I was like, how do I present myself to the public if I was able to introduce my business to someone? And I was like, I would like my business to be different from most businesses, even though it's a self-produced, self self-produced, self-owned business or whatnot. Um, I was like, I would like to develop a mission statement that... I follow by so eventually when times come and I actually want to pursue my dreams and get a storefront for my business pleasing both sides of the beauty community as well as the self-care community this is what I have so at melodic aromas and I'll use R and we as in like melodic aromas and not so much as I so our service at melodic aromas is to focus on providing our consumers with all means of self-care and the promotion of loving loving the skin that you're in so just you know just being happy that you're authentically you nobody else just you so with emphasizing these traits it allows like individuals to acknowledge their own version of beauty and confidence and tranquility because you know when you're not at peace your spirit and everything else is uneasy and it like things just don't add up right so you all all over the place and overall it's just a way to make it known to everyone no matter who you are that to appreciate yourself because we're all uniquely defined we're different but we're all beautiful in our own way you know so we don't want to discriminate anybody, anybody's views or how they feel about themselves. We want you to think nothing more but the best of yourself. So that's the whole purpose of Melodic Aromas. And like it really touches home because like, it's very personal to me. Self-care, self-love, finding peace within yourself, not relying on other people for that. Like you can't give much of yourself without you know will like 
how can I say it? You can't give or find something if you're not complete you don't completely possess it. You can't find love in someone else or whatever it is if you don't have that for yourself. So we're just trying to promote that one day at a time, one product at a time, just loving the skin that you're in, taking care of the skin that you're in, you know? Like we're not saying you have to meet the supermodel size or be as fit as you can be. Just love yourself and take care of yourself. You got to want the best for yourself. So, yeah, that's what we're about. Um, Another question that came about through just conversing with other people is who are my supporters? Like, support list and backbones to help me get this through. Well, I would like to say that, honestly, if it wasn't for my mother telling me yeah just go for it you know it doesn't matter what it is it can be just one product but if you feel a burning within your heart to get it done to make it happen it will happen and you can't worry about everybody else so she's the one that made me get off my behind and actually just do it i started off with just one little product that i was like i want to test this out see if it works and it was literally some candles. It wasn't even body products. And I was like, no, I had to wait. Like, I was like, okay, the candle burns nice. All right, cool. I'm just playing out the odds, like, how these candles work, doing my research on different body products. And, like, I was the number one test subject because, me personally, I have very sensitive skin. I have hyperpigmented skin. I have, very, I have a lot of dry spots and whatnot. And I have to constantly keep my skin hydrated. I have to exfoliate my skin every other day. Like, and I was like, you know, at one point I felt like I was ugly. Like, I felt like I couldn't accomp, like, couldn't meet anybody's standards. And I didn't see myself as beautiful. Like, you know, no matter how many people could have told me that I was beautiful, I didn't see it. So it was like, how are you going to sit here and call me beautiful? I don't feel beautiful. I don't think I'm beautiful. But it just took a shift in my attitude. Like, nobody else is going to see it unless I truly see it. And it wouldn't matter to me what they say unless I truly saw it. So I was like, you know, let's change this out of my environment. Let's take this out. Let's stop hanging around this person. You know, if you're not going to feed posit positivity into me, then... I have to go find somewhere else where I can get the same energy back and forth. You know, you feel me? So, that's all, like, I want to promote to other people. And, like, so I would say my mom, definitely. And a few of my line sisters, like, you know, they reached out to me. It's like, oh, well, you know, I got your back. Oh, you want to do it? Go ahead and do it. Like, whatever. They supported me since the launch you know, and, you know, you don't have to always purchase something. Let's just be clear. You don't always have to purchase something in order to support somebody. It takes nothing but a few seconds in your day, a few seconds of your time to just share, comment, you know. That's all it takes. It doesn't take out of eye. I didn't ask you to purchase anything, you know. Just show your support like that. If you do wish to purchase something, that's great. Thank you. Because I support you and you support me at the end of the day. That's it. But, yeah, I do have a few line sisters that have, like, reached out and, like, showed support, have shared and whatnot. So, I would definitely say my line sisters, my mother, um, a few other family members. Um, and, you know, those family members that you call, like, your family, but they're not really your family, but they're your family. So, a few of them, like, friends of the family have support um i don't get any other outside support if it comes to like financials everything comes out of my pockets as of right now whether it comes from packaging shipping you know and that's a whole nother story when it comes to shipping stuff so but definitely packaging purchasing the material um promoting the material everything like i pay for for it out of pocket you know and that's just the cost it takes to start up the business hopefully you know business starts booming the better i you know 
get accustomed to doing things and marketing my products because you know like i say i do testing out on myself for those people who have um have you know i would say finicky skin like you know our skin just be doing the absolute most why did i decide to start a business and that question you know sometimes is tricky per se you know even though i do have like a whole other job in a different field and everything like that but it could be infinitely a lot of things for other people mainly for me i wanted to do something yeah i like what i'm doing now but you know it come, came to a point where i was like i'm tired of working for other people i would say i would like to experience working for myself doing more so for myself so i don't have to rely on other people for that paycheck i would like to go get the paycheck myself and let it come to me so i can be of service to others you know but another reason fell into the line was like i have the mindset skills and the passion to help other people and i feel like by me doing this is like a service to others to promote like self-care awareness like yeah like self-care literally falls into a lot of spectrums and sometimes it's overlooked just getting away from yourself in a way and just doing something that's not so relying on yourself to promote the happiness but more so relying on your environment to promote a uh, inch for you to get there and let's just say the community is big enough for anybody and everybody if you want to do it go ahead and do it because my products may be different from your products okay mm -hmm. Their products is different from my products. My purpose is different from their purpose. No one person is the same. Yeah, we might have the same name, however, name of the product, but it doesn't mean what I bring to the table is the same as what you're bringing to the table. It's room for anybody, everybody. Whether you want to start a, a poetry business, a book selling business, a pen selling business, you can, there's a business out there for anybody, everybody. find that thing that gets you up in the morning you know you can wake up some days and get no sales but you're like you know what i got this i see myself in three five weeks with 50 sales it be like that it be like that honestly so that was like what really motivated me into like just pushing myself get myself up out the bed in the morning sometimes like if you can't find something to get up out of the bed for in the morning to like just motivate you and push you to do the next thing, then I advise you to do some soul searching. It's okay, you know. It's literally okay. Trust me, it is okay. Um, like I said, I everything I do for my business as of right now is solely lying on me out of my pockets and everything so like what how much did it take me to just get the stuff that i got honestly i got everything i probably would spend probably 50 to i would say 75 max would be 90 something um per paycheck and that would just vary from that 50 something to that 90 something it it will vary and with some of my candle jars honestly i will buy them in bulk bulk buying stuff in bulk actually saves you a lot of money um my lip gloss tubes buying it in bulk everything i do is by hand and from packaging, making, filling stuff is done by hand. Um, the wax, by like once again, I buy it in bulk. Like every other paycheck, I'll order 
um, two 10 pound bags of soy wax so that, you know, I can make this batch of whatever candles. Right now, I just got assorted candles, but what's going to happen soon is me having signature jars and signature fragrances. And if you haven't paid attention to my Instagram page, Melodic Aromas um, business page, most of my products deal with lavender and lavender is just that thing for me so you might see different twists on lavender you might see a lavender gardenia a lavender jasmine lavender peppermint or whatnot but i will have like specialty candles like say like right now i have assorted candles some might smell like oranges some might smell like flowers others might smell like fruity things like and those will come in jars as I see a jar set that I like. Um, and I'll just purchase it and put it to the side. I have an idea for the candles. But I will get to the point where I'll just be making specialty candles in signature jars. That, you know, I feel serve a purpose. Like them classic candle jars. Not the minimalistic candles. I'm talking about them classic ones that you see at your grandma's house. Those type of jars. I love them because... Once the candles melt down, you can use that jar for something else. You don't have to throw that jar away and whatnot. You can use it literally for a plethora of things. So, I will. My initial take on the products that I have is so that people, yes, you bought them for this sole purpose, but once the item is done, you can reuse the container that it's in. So, one, you helping the earth on a whole nother level you helping yourself connectedly to the um to you helping the earth so it's like i want to serve a purpose that helps more than just what it says it's doing so whether it's directly or indirectly and that's the whole purpose of melodic aromas and my whole initiative in starting this business like I want you to be able to be like yeah I bought my stuff from melodic aromas but it was this and now I'm using it for this so that's that's literally what it is and how it's gonna be as I continue to move forward I do plan on doing like special things like self-care boxes and probably like little gift boxes and taking in requests for different things that you would like. Eventually, eventually I want it to be set up to the point where I have this um, tab on my page where you can select the certain items that you want in a care package, whether it's male and female, which I am looking into, you know, servicing male, so more so masculine items as well because we do have men that like their self-care days as well so i'm here for that any day of the week and i'm just right now i'm in the planning stage i'm not making any more products i'm putting together um a few things for the future so whether it's going to be holiday self-care packages that you can give out during christmas time um or birthdays and stuff like that I'm looking forward to it I'm looking into different things and how I can put a little twist on my business what's going to set me different from everyone else so that's eluding into this other question well the same question but another part to it what is the big thing that I have coming up now so um So my birthday is next month, right? Right. And being that my birthday is next month, I am looking to start promoting soon, soon, um, my small self-care box, right? And in this box, I would say you're going to get a body oil, a body mist, um, a loofah, um, a loofah, a face, 
um i think it's like a mitten or a sponge you know um exfoliating sponge and it's one more thing a sleep mask and these sleep masks are different from the ones that's on my site that are black these ones are white and they're same style different color and whatnot i would say um and what else and there's possibly another thing that's going to be coming which i cannot say yet um but i am branching out into looking at some other type of product that i could possibly make between I would say this weekend and probably my birthday. So just stay tuned because it will be posted on my site's blog um, as well as our Instagram page. And I'll apply somewhere. So yeah. Um. But yeah, some products that I do have, someone did ask what products am I selling if they haven't been on my my business Instagram page, which also has like it's all has the shop open up on my Instagram page. We have a Facebook page as well. There's a shop that's linked to the actual business website that's on there. But we sell a variety of candles. Um, we sell sleep masks, we sell lip moisturizer, we sell body mist, shimmering body mist right now, to be exact. We sell body oil, we sell body butter, which we only have like one variety right now. Um, it's a lavender body butter, shea butter base, whipped body butter. We sell wax warmers now with wax milk singles as well as those that are in the clamshells clamshells are the ones that is usually in the six pack that you get from the store um we sell incense um these will be incense sticks as well as incense combs um we sell incense holders as well so we have a variety of things that we sell amylotic aromas and we're just hoping to expand more on our products as we go forward. We're willing to take in any requests for things that we should look into. Oh, and let me not forget, we also sell lip gloss as well. As I'm wearing, right now I'm just experimenting with my, my clear glosses. And as of right now, I would say we have a total of, we have... Harmony, we have Symphony, we have Melody, we have Presto, music related. We have Cherry Berry, and we also have Lemon Drop. And those two are like our fruity type of lip gloss. Um, and they, of course, all of them are scented. They're not flavored or anything like that. Flavored glosses will be coming and I am looking into doing matte glosses as well for those of us who do like a bit of color as well. But I do enjoy having clear glosses. It just gives you that, it gives you that subtle natural look with a little bit of glow on your lip. Um, I can say that both the lemon drop as well as the cherry berry are different from the others. For one, they're limited glosses um, and they also have glitter in them um let me see if i can get one of each and also each one of my glosses container i hand design the design that's on them so the lemon drop would of course have a yellow heart on it and some glitter inside of it this i would say is more so of a liquid not liquid base but it's not a thick gloss so it's not sticky or anything and this is cherry berry cherry berry each of the containers have a drip on it 
and it's a nice purplish brownish color uh, it's supposed to be a dark cherry so and it also has glitter in it as well that we have a total of seven in total lip products so we have like I said, Presto, Harmony, Symphony, Melody, Lemon Drop, Cherry Berry, and the Lip Moisturizer. So. So. That's a little insight on my business. And I hope you guys enjoyed. The link to my business will be below. Feel free to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um... Go ahead and head to my Instagram page, um, Simply Miracle, as well as my business page, Melodic Aromas. We follow us on both Instagram and follow us on our Facebook page. And feel free to like just share the page with somebody else or on your own platform. That is fine. It is fine. You don't have to purchase. Just go ahead and share or comment what you think and that honestly will go a long way so once again thank you guys i love sharing anything everything with you all so have a great day and take care remember you're uniquely defined oh yeah you guys i forgot to tell you guys that we also have a new product at melodic aromas i want you to go check it out but to addition, in addition to our lavender oil, we also have new rose oil. Um, so with our oils, it is infused oils with the fragrance of it. Everything is organic. Um, so it's an organic body oil. And I honestly love it. Both, if you know, rose oil is good. It's, it provides a lot of nutrients to your skin um as well as lavender oil so these are these will be our two oils body oils that we have at melodic aromas it's in the melodic body collection so feel free to check it out um these are this is how the lavender oil looks the lavender oil will be packaged like this and it's in the melodic body collection so these are our new our two oils and we're happy to welcome our new addition into the collection we're so happy so it's only going to get better from here